Hello.
Please give Rajiv welcome. Suswagatam, Suswagatam, Suswagatam. On behalf of Dr. Balaseb Savan Konkan Kushwe Javit, Dapoli, and the National Agricultural Higher Education Project under the Institutional Development Plan. This is the ICR project which our university is running. So, on their behalf, I welcome all the guests who are present physically today in this auditorium, as well as the guests who are seeing this particular function live to YouTube and uh, Zoom link from entire India and some parts of the world. So I welcome you all. Myself, Yogesh Naik, MSc Agriculture from this university from 1991 batch, welcomes all of you again. And I request everybody on the dignitaries to take their respective seat on the dais. First, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. S.B. Savan, sir. Then our student person, we call it, call him veteran from the agrochemical industry of India. Though he thinks he is a Chanakya, but as a respect, we call him Pita Mahabhishma of Indian pesticide industry. Mr. K.K. Uli, sir. My first guru, as far as agricultural industry is concerned, and ex executive director of Top Life India, Dr. A. S. Sindulkar, sir. Then we have Dean, director of instruction, Dr. B. G. Desai, sir. Then we have director of extension, Dr. Pramod Saman, sir. We have principal investigator for this NAHEP IDP program, Dr. Prashant Bolke, sir. Our senior most alumni from this university who served for more than 37 years in agricultural industry. And before that, he was working as an assistant professor here in this university for almost 2.5 years, Dr. A.G. Kowar, sir. Dr. Bhavi sir is not here. Great. So let's have the traditional welcome on behalf of university of Mr. Unni sir. So I request Honorable Vice Chancellor sir, Dr. Saman sir, to kindly felicitate our today's speaker, C. K. K. Unni. The traditional welcome with Sean and Shrifat. <laughs> yeah, give to be hands. Now, while the uh, welcome ceremony is going on, you know, on uh, behalf of university, I request Honorable Vice Chancellor to also give him that token of love, the gift from the university. Everybody is wondering why some of us are wearing this particular, you know, dupatta. This is just for you to identify the alumni of this university who are working in agri input industry. So we have to just differentiate so that crowd can uh, have networking after this session. So that way this. Thank you, sir. I think. Now I request uh, Dr. B.G. Desai, sir, to felicitate our honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Savan. Now I request uh, one of the active member of this uh, team, the uh, project, Nehal Khanvilkar Purva Sharmicha, now Raja Lakshmi Raja Chirke Madam, 
to kindly have a floral welcome of rest of the delegates. Dr. Pamot Saman, Dr. Dwi, Dr. Biji Desai sir, Dr. Anir Indul sir, Dr. Bolke sir, and our senior most alumni, Dr. Eji Paul. Okay. Also, we have Dr. Subhash Chavan sir present here. So the floor is open. Okay. We also have ex dean Dr. Narendra Tarkar. Uh, he was also instrumental when myself and Dr. Indulkar came for the first time here to meet our honorable vice to have this event. So that time he was telling me, "Hey, okay, I am going to retire, but no problem." And thank you, sir, for coming to this function. Thank you. Great. Now, I request the principal investigator of NIH EP program, Dr. Prashant Bolke, sir, to kindly and briefly introduce about the project, its objectives, and what we have planned for our young graduates. Dr. Bolke, sir. Very good morning to all of you. The very important function of this NHEP and university. I welcome Dr. Honorable Dr. Savant, sir, Honorable Vice Chancellor of this great university. Our another member who is most you can say the affable, assertive, cheerful, and charming young personality of this August gathering, Mr. K. K. Unni, sir, and our directors. Dr. Desai sir, Dr. Savan sir, again the young chap of this industry, Dr. Idulka sir, then uh, Dr. Pawar, Yugesh Naik sir, Dr. Narangaka sir, ex dean, Dr. Chawan sir, ex uh, HOD and uh, associate dean of this university, and all the faculties of this, the yeah. industry alumni, alumni of this university, staff of the university, students, and those who are at the, you can say, the online. All the uh, participants of this program, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. this is a great opportunity for me to introduce this university in a brief. He said that in a brief. So, Dr. Basar Sound University has recently completed its 50 years of its elegance and dedicated service to this Kokan region. The university has established in 18th May 1972 and re again renamed in uh, 28th, 12th uh, February 2001 in the name of Dr. Basar Sound. So that's why the name is Dr. Baisal Sawan Kokan Kushi with that In this last 50 years of the journey, the university has established from a sapling to a big tree into a seven constituent colleges and 21 affiliated colleges. So we are imparting the education to the more than 8,000 students in the five faculties, maybe the agriculture education, agriculture, agriculture, engineering, horticulture, forestry, and fisheries. So most of the students are outcome output of the students has been a Posted at so many kinds of private industries, you can see that number of students are here. Those who are in the private industry at very good post, even in the government sectors, they are around the world. Almost all the quote, KKVs are been looking at to our university in a big way. The university also has in research uh, in the last 50 years, they have the 33 research stations, 11 AICRP stations to volunteer centers, then more than 11 extraordinary funded projects, large projects. In the last 50 years, we have already developed 109 crop varieties. 22 farm implements and more than 1300 research recommendations for these the stakeholders of this Kokan region and the Maharashtra. So there is a big kind of contribution by this university. Under the able leadership of our honorable vice chancellor, Dr. Savan, sir, recently we have granted two more patents in this. Uh, that is the most uh, big feeders in our university crown. That is, and 20 patents are in the lineup there. 70 PPV FRE varieties and 70 national recent crop varieties are there, recognized varieties. Sir, under these uh, various programs, the NHEP is one of the programs is running under the ICR, but it's World Bank funded project through ICR in the education division. This is the big, biggest project in the last 50 years. We have seen that we are developing this uh, uh, project with the title that is the Institutional Development for the 
in enhancing the learning outcome, academic diversity, entrepreneurship, and employability of the students. That is what the title of this project. On this project, we have developed guess, you know, two virtual classrooms, one idea lab, one language lab. We are developing 3D educational models for the students to get into a new era of the education, that is 3D education for the students. We are also uh, delivering that uh, five drones to our students so that they can be equipped with a lot of technology and they can use it. We're going to give the certification program to the students also. We are having this in program of uh, uh, international exposure to our students. So 15 students and 15 staff will get an opportunity to go to abroad in mostly with the MOUs which we have done with the w, WSU, the University of Sydney, University of Australia, Michigan State University, USA, Ohio State University, USA, then uh, AIT Bangkok. Almost in, at four locations, they were going to get uh, further training, especially in case of the virtual reality, then IoT, AI, machine learning, that is with its application to the agriculture and as well as the business module. In this addition, we are also giving the, with the help of our alumni, especially Yogesh Naik has been the key, you can say the uh, 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 trigger for that one. We are developing one pilot business entrepreneurship course for the students, which is an addition to our regular agriculture degree, because that is what the industry needed. And that's why we are linking our alumni to this university as well as our project. So we are uh, um, uh, progressing like uh, whatever it may be with the slow progress, but within the one and a half, 14 months, that is one and two, uh, two months, one year and two months, we are trying to develop. We are going to show you in the afternoon session what we have done and what we are going to do there. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
and agro input industries. It's uh, very surprising to know and having the experience of working with him, very soft hearted man, but equally at the same time, very tough taskmaster. You may not find him now. Those are the days when we joined industry. We were actually scared of him. But very lovable person. Man management, besides the crop management, what he did throughout his career, man management is his ace. He is networking. He is possibly the best in the industry. Let it be a representative or to the top positions, either in the institutes, in the industry, government, wherever. He knew always how to get the job done. It is very fortunate of me, for example, that I joined from the academic background after the uh, university job in the entomology department that I went into the industry as a newcomer. But he was the one, actually, I was very fortunate that he landed from Germany after I joined uh, in, uh, industry. So he could restore confidence in me. Otherwise, it was very difficult to sustain in the new city, city life, and the industry, corporate life. But, and he has that tag. I said the man management. He can identify. I mean, maybe that is the beauty with all the greats. I am told that Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Savan also knows who is the better person for which job. And that's why this university is so successful today. Similarly, Mr. Unni, he just picks up. I joined as a technical manager there, a technical assistant manager when I left the university because I was so-called scientist. But he knew within six months and he shifted me to marketing. And I became one of the product managers. This is my man. They used to call me then. The beauty of the person, despite the towering personality, he never allow you to feel that you are a small one. I can just quote my example. In 1986, there was an epidemic of uh, wild flies on cotton. And we had one new product which was under evaluation, which was I was I was deputed in Andhra Pradesh for six months. He used to visit because we wanted to promote that new product, get it early registered so that we can we could uh, release that product in the market. He used to often come to the field visits. And believe me, we were to act in the field that I am his boss. Now you can understand the embarrassment what I must have gone through, that he used to quote me there in the presence of the farmers, that I am a all India scientist on the white flag, evaluating the products and then giving the recommendation. And he is my assistant and he used to talk with the farmers. He knew good uh, Telugu also. Basically the problem was in Andhra Pradesh. So he used to communicate in Telugu. I used to as if I am dictating English to him. So it was like, a, I mean, at that time I was tense, but I could not show it, express it. So it was like a fun. But behind the fun, there was always a fear. That's what I said. He looks very kind, but very hearty person, but very tough master. And that's the reason why he's so successful in the life. I don't think I have to say anything more. I mean, knack of the people picking up uh, Sudhir, for example, is another example. He was in, he joined from KKV again as after the, his uh, MSc. He was in sales, doing wonderful job. He knew that this boy has a better qualities than as a salesman. He picked him up, brought him into the HO in marketing, and then is a the history what Sudhir did. He was deputed to Germany also then. So, I mean, the networking, man management are his uh, <clears throat> core values. And that is the reason why in the entire industry, leave aside only industry, 
even the institute's government officers who were in his contact still remember him, still respect him. And that is the beauty of this towering personality, which I can't explain in this uh, short time. So better listen to him only. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ayi Bawar, sir. The beautiful way to explain the towering personality. Otherwise, somebody can, you know, just read the introduction which is there on the back side of the book. But he has spoken from his heart and the experience that he had when working with Mr. Gundi, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, we will have the official launch program of autobiography by Shri Gundi, sir. So, I request all the dignitaries on the dais. There is a book which is wrapped in a green color paper because he's an agriculture man. Even the book background is a green color. That's why the green color is selected. So I request everybody to officially launch the book in Dr. Balasek Savan Tompen Fish with that I have a big round of applause. Please. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Here, one small announcement. Everybody must be thinking that I should get a copy of this. Dr. Mr. KK Uni is kind enough to distribute his autobiography copy free to each and every person who will be interested in having the copy as a souvenir, we can say, and read it and take inspiration from that particular book so that he or she can also grew in his career in his lifetime. Yeah, so for that, I will request Dr. Borke sir to have a platform where you can register. We will courier these copies to his office and you students can collect it from his office of uh, our NAAT. Okay, so that is about the book launch and the availability of the copy is concerned. Because there is a written outside there. It's not for sale. It is not available on the bookstore. It is for personal circulation. And he is kind enough to give copies free to everybody. I myself I have already gone through this copy in 19, 2019. Wonderful experience. Have a copy, read it, and use his experience. So whatever he has gone through his life, it is mentioned over there. I am sure definitely it will help. Oh, yes, there is a card. Plus, after the event, we are going to distribute his visiting card to each and every person so that in future, if anybody wants our young graduates, if they want some guidance from him, they can contact him either on email or on WhatsApp. Don't call him because he keeps traveling a lot. He is quite a busy person at this age of almost 80 years old. But we will be giving you his visiting card. So you can always send email or a WhatsApp message to him. And I'm sure he will answer within one or two days. He is very prompt on answering on WhatsApp. Thank you. I think we are a little bit ahead of the schedule. It's only 10.25. I understand that uh, some of the students are appearing for the exam. The exam will get over by 11 o'clock. So we are expecting few more students after 11, 11, 15, who will be getting the certificates for one course which Dr. Bodke has conducted. So we'll skip this for this moment. We'll go ahead with our agenda. So I request uh, Shri KK Unni sir to go ahead with the presentation first, followed by the question answer session. And to enjoy the presentation, I request all the degrees on the diet to kindly take a seat in this front row so that they can have a better look at the PowerPoint presentation. I request the technical support staff to kindly help Mr. Unni with the caller mic and the pointer. The technical staff, please. Yes. Thank you. Uh, 
we have 10 copies of books available here. I will request Dr. Bodke sir to keep one copy in his office for the immediate reference for some of the students till the official copy comes. Mm -hmm. And maybe two or three copies we can have it on our university library for the refer immediate reference of the mm -hmm. students. Thank you. Yeah, they are speaking, and uh, this is all in one. This is the going is power. Huh? This is going. Okay. Oh, see, the point is there, and the point is there. Anyway, good morning to everybody. I'm very, very pleased to be here, and a special thanks to our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Saman, who have agreed that I could be invited here to meet all of you. And uh, also, my dream project, The Cricket's a Man, the book I wrote is released today. I'm overwhelmed at the hospitality and the warmth of all of you. I'm first time visiting Dapoli. So industry has a lot of people from Dapoli working in senior capacities. But uh, first time here, and uh, I found it very, very motivating to myself. Uh, perhaps I feel 10 years younger <laughs> from looking at your face and also getting inspiration from you. This is the Agriculture Band my book. I will be released today formally here. And I would like to get, take you through some of my presentation. Uh, areas and uh, convert that into three, three, uh, convert that into, into three sections. Uh, one is uh, how I progressed my career, how I became from tower trainee, management trainee to the tower of management in one section. The section, second section is my book, the agriculture book, the only book that I can written in the industry so far. So I'm very proud of it. I don't speak elegant Oxford English. I speak a spoken English only. My grammar is not that good as some of my French, but anyway, it comes to the heart of my language. The third is that uh, I have employed a lot of agriculture graduates in my company, and also my friends who wanted to have agriculture graduates who guided them. In my veins grows the agricultural blood, actually. I always say that the culture in agriculture. Therefore, I am proud. That I was not a medical man, I'm not an engineer, I'm simply an agriculture man, a farmer's friend. So, something all of these students would like to come into the industry to have a good job, etc., etc. Some of the useful tips I can give you, I am putting in the third chapter. So, let me begin with a little bit of myself. Dr. Pavar eloquently has talked about me, but I would like to talk about me myself. Now, you can see the training, the journey of Tower to tower, from the training to tower of management, what happened? I come from an agricultural family, a rice family. And so, very humble, the very remote village of Kerala. And then, um, it was a mother's dream. Mother was a Sri Krishna devotee. One night, she had a dream of a Lord Krishna blowing, puddling the paddy, and told my for your son, this is enough. The next day morning, she asked me to take agriculture. So I just got out. I thought Krishna helped my career, uh, moved my career. So of course, I preferred private sector because my brother was the IIF officer in the foreign service. I was in Delhi with him. He said, join the company. He had the connections with the paper, private companies. So therefore, I joined the Swiss company called the SIVA as executive trainee. Now, we see my background again continuing. I took a Though I'm an agriculture graduate, did not go for MS agriculture, but I took a management degree in Bombay University, studying after office hours, you know. And of course, I got a management, marketing management a diploma from Italy, the Harvard of, 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 of Europe in, in Lausanne, Switzerland, a management diploma. And of course, I managed many sales campaigns, actually, you know, marketing campaigns, like multi crops in post Andhra. And I realized at that time, the customer is not a dealer. The customer, real customer, is a farmer. So this is very few, few people understood. They only consider dealer to get money, orders, etc. Et now realizing 
the farmer is the real customer. So therefore, I propagated what you call field and farms. In the morning hours, when the farmers are delivered in the house, and the dealer, et cetera, et cetera, inevitable after four o'clock in the afternoon. They are there also after seven o'clock. This realization is there with me, with a lot of my people, but still not fully industry practicing. You know, the field and farms. So coming to the next slide is uh, my challenges. I work for a pharmaceutical company called Hurst. I'm an agriculture man. Uh, hardly one person contributed to the company to compete for equality to the giant pharma was a real challenge for me. And also a lot of uh, multinationals cannot grow under their certain regulations, so MRTP, FIRA, et cetera, et cetera, problematic. And I, the unique thing about me is I never in, took over from somebody. I had only four people in a small agro cell, agri cell. That I developed into a department, a department into a division, a division into a company, standard on company. This is a constant a struggle, challenge to build an organization from scratch. Of course, uh, the biggest uh, blessing I had was a team of agriculture graduates at the core team who was one vision, one mission, and one focus. I was very fortunate to have the team with me to implement my ideas, etc. So, see, I also felt like the small scale industry people knew a lot more about business than. The multinational compartmentalized executives. So I decided to leave the company a little bit politically and join a SSI company, small scale industry, the multinational man went to a small small scale industry in Madras to learn what how they are entrepreneurial, what differentiate between a big company and a small company. I learned a lot of entrepreneurial management in the company. Therefore, I of course after two years of learning told my boss it was a political move and they take me back. So I came back to Hurst and then of course set up five small scale companies. The learning I got from the SSI unit, I put five common names are there, five agricultural companies, small scalers, and then integrated later at an opportune time into the main company. That is a wonderful chance for me to grow in the industry. But the political climate is changing. The Nelson Rao and Manmohan Singh are ruling at that time. License Raj is gone. I could absorb those small companies into the main company, Herbst. Next, Russell Bench for this ISA is my agriculture company. So, therefore, I also could practice entrepreneurship in a bureaucratic multinational. For example, I show you three slides, three photos. Project management. You can look at it, product management. This one. The date set is earth breaking by a board member from Germany. When he came to visit us, he said, there's a big house. Break the earth, earth breaking for a chemical plant, April. Now you see, next slide we show you. In four months' time, April, August, the plant, the civil work is almost over. Four floors are ready. The German is a production guy sitting, talking to the Indian the technical man. And within 11 months, a brand new plant is ready. In the multinational, it takes about two to three years, innumerable discussion, changing, etc. Et so, yeah. You go to Germany with the plant, if they approve it, sign it, only come for inauguration. Don't need to yeah. It cuts out two years of implementation time. Just uh, an example because we believe in agriculture, saving is believing, and these are examples of entrepreneurship. Now, the next one. My management strategy. I hope you won't take it wrong. As Tawar said, I'm a dictator, and some people are scared to see me, but that's part of my job to lead, actually. In a, in a, in a politely tough way, you know, and not with any vindictiveness. I have no likes and dislikes, but it is my style. I always said to myself, memories will fail at a critical time. Karna had forgotten his astras at a critical fight with Arjun. He was first. So, write it as I said, forget about it. So, Kodak had at one time attracted me. Kodak people said, pictures, but in the right, the memories will fail. Pictures don't. So, take a photograph. So I said, I changed it. The writing zone. Write down what you do today, what you do tomorrow, maybe one month later, write it down somewhere. Then you can always go back. So that is one strategy of mine, which inculcated my staff completely. Writing impossible. I'm as proud to say it's not in my dictionary. The word impossible. Because if one gate is closed, there are other gates to open. So intelligent manager will find the gate, extra gate to open. And 
Only say what you can do. Don't do exaggerated statements and don't, don't do it even half. And of course, 100 attempts to score a football in football is not equal to one single goal. That means result, result, result is important. Then attempts, then attempts, then attempts. This man management strategy, I completely followed it because it is not the truckers and let's say courtlets or management books, the management gurus have professed many things, but the Unis management style, I believe in what I do. Now you see my career progression, I go Russia, Russia, and Russia, see the guy, management trainee, manager, then of course the division manager, all in first, and then become managing director of a standalone agricultural company of Hurst. We were hired off from a division to a company. And also the chairman and managing director of the Bayer Group company, which is again put a post in the 2001 to 2010, post retirement, I worked there for years. So 70th year I worked, 70th year I worked. What happened to me then? I have been the training to tolerate my ambition. But I want to go from a humble beginning where I reached. This is a story about the chapter number one. Chapter number two, but we discussed the, the, the book today. It discovers about, if you go through it literally, 50 years of uh, crop protection industry, some highlights about the industry. It contains. It also contains my difficult days, how I have overcome the difficulties, solved the problems, and my experiences actually to be given to young managers. The book is meant for the young managers, what it come up in life about 10 to 10 years old in the industry, 15 years in the industry, et cetera, et cetera. Opportunity sensing, problem solving, strategic initiatives, and also converting possibilities into realities. It's very difficult to convert, but there is a way to convert it. And there were a lot of success stories there. And also, the result of the one year post-retirement, before my 50th, 50th year of my golden anniversary, uh, I wrote this book. One year, I struggled, I got it. Get back all the memories, the memories, all the points was tough, but I have reasonably good photographic memory. So it, it, it could be done. And of course, uh, it contains agriculture, environmental health. I was in charge of environmental chapters. 100,000 copies I gave free of charge to young, young managers. And there was demand, I put 500 more. But if there is demand from people like you, I will uh, promise you, every one of you asked for, we'll get a copy. It's like reprint again. So that is agriculture man. And um, so one of the chapters I want to talk about is that one time, a lot of people, I tell all these people when I interact the other day, the, 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 the heliopolis problem was very acute on cotton. Chemicals will not kill. And pick can kill what I've seen in many of the areas in other Pradesh. So we got a Rampan, Rampan product for the, the synthetic pirate product, the fourth generation pirate product. I could I was instrumental in launching the country in pirate product among two, three other companies. So, of course, foreign collaborator was tough, a French guy. Germans don't get on with the French guy. I used the SSI unit, small-scale unit to launch it because multinational could not do it. So that's why I joined the SSI unit earlier. And of course, we had heavy branding, 100% price over the nearest pirate threat was our brand. This is brand, which is Eddie Power was talking, and he was talking today, 100%. If you ask it today as a retired man, there's no difference, cyber method and data method, speaking. But how do you position it? 100% premium because grit and determination and self belief propels the idea of branding is important. You differentiate from A to B and B to C. This was done. And we were number one in the world. France was number one. We replaced the France, the French, the turnover. By Indian turnover, that's the basic self feeling. Um, this is a company, you know. Palari is a weed on beach. No district of Punjab or Haryana was safe. Palari is, uh, is, is, is uh, such an auction field, it looked like wheat, small. Farmer will handle the fan, the hand weeding will take the weed out, keep the weed in. The wheat out and keep the weed in. A selective herbicide was uh, launched. On the national emergency, he brought it by air from Germany, a couple of aircraft full of uh, material. And the first time in the history of agriculture, the place for agrochemical, the department, the university of Punjab and Haryana, and the company worked together in the farmer's field. 
farmer training program. Spraying a herbicide is not easy like insecticide or fungicide. You need certain elevation, there's a level above the crop, etc. It's a scientific farm that they're spraying. This was done very, very, very much a joint effort of all the companies, uh, all, all, all the other people. The next became some thought an opportunity for us later. We could do better. So we put our own formulation, which was not there. And we also brought back Arilan, and this is a big branch from the small scale companies at an opportune time. And we did a lot of campaigns across across, across India to be visible in the market. Our product is good. And you know, seeing is believing, only demonstration, demonstration, demonstration could do the trick. And of course, we had a lot of uh, motivation. We stuff a annual, annual workshop. Also, it's a very interesting story with the Ijipa was saying. Ongo district in, uh, in, uh, in Andhra was attacked by white tribe. A lot of farmers commit suicide. A political issue came. So Ramarao, the chief minister, asked for the managing director to come. My MD is German. But I'm also MD house. I'm a marketing director. So MD event, not him, but in this MD event, Director of Agriculture came to the Hyderabad airport, received me in his car and took me to NDR. NDR out of five minutes, he said, okay. I write a letter to the Telex to the Rajiv Gandhi for report on the chemical. Never happened, politician to politician, and come so quick, we could airlift about 110 tons from Germany. Of course, we saved the, the, the white flight. They bought it for the white fly. We also made local plant of a local plant there, multi purpose plant actually. And next India was a top seller, whatever you took it, we were number one in the world. So we went top city on white fly killer. He also was number one in the world. And of course, with this data we could have a what you call the combination product for a better efficacy, increasing the spectrum of the efficacy. That is also done. Now coming to oh, Agrivo, first time a company from a big company. We are dyes, industrial chemicals, we are pharmaceutical, veterinary, agriculture. Agriculture was hived off into a standard company, that is Agrivo. So this was came all, all over the world. Agrivo, the company was formed in India, India too. I became the first non German managing director. In fact, only MD would be, all MDs would be only German. I could get the opportunity to, to edit. And therefore, the employee motivation was very high. First action I did was I will there shall be no unionism. If the field staff had a union, the office staff had a union, I said, tell me that you have a team together, we have one objective to go forward, forward, forward. So there is no union. Protests were there, but I said, go to have a impolite way in union. But it was working very well because they took cross social conflict. There the people, our boys can go from seven o'clock in the morning to the field to see the barber. The farmer representative will go at 10 o'clock to his doctor. There is a difference of timing, etc. And therefore, the, the shows for the, 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 the let's say, the, 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 the farmers meeting is a night, not daytime. Union doesn't permit all this, you know. So, this is an amazing cross function. So, we had target, but people were so enthusiastic in the company, took self, let's say, motivated objectives 105%, 110% of the target. They could finish it nine months' time. They were more challenge. They had super target. So it is self-motivated that the company giving a target annually. It is amazing. Some of the boys, so much, 120, 130 percent. And it's a way of where they have to challenge themselves, actually. A human being is such a wonderful machine. If you prime it well, it can do wonders. That's a universal truth, which we practice in our company. Now, now next one. Yeah, the Grivo India. These are 15 things we had. First, then, the annual reports were all dull and draft, all financial statements. In our annual report, we have pictures, we have taken, you know, know your crop to say all First was mango, entire city of mango, one picture. And the next to the AGM, people shouted at me. They all said, What is this? You cannot write mango. You should write Alberto mango. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, Gustav Ma. Next time we will do Alpine for Mango. So much of passion was there, they could know this. Dur, etc., etc., various other vegetables that is included. We have agreement nights. Whole family, the whole company was a family, not the one human being, a few employees, their wives, the family, etc. With all this activity, our share price 
went up to 1350 rupees. Say, compared to 430 of the great giant houses. So, a German finance man from Frankfurt <laughs> telephoned me, Mr. Woody, are you manipulating Bombay Stock Exchange? Mr. Dada, Uncle Jordi, if I have the capability to manipulate Bombay Stock Exchange, I won't be working for you. It's only sheer competency and the record for turnover and profit, etc., created this differential. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It was a lot of people who uh, suffer a feeling, you must have some you know. So we were very happy. And of course, a million dividend of 100%, 110%, 30%, 40%, 40%. dividend, and a bonus share in the, in, the third, in, the, in, the, in the third year. One, three, for every two shares. So therefore, this Agriva India is a, is a unique company. Now I made one unique uh, joint venture also in Vidar, a jewel crown of Bayer. Because Bayer, next is gone, Bayer is in. So this sustainable joint venture global, over 14 in the, the activity ingredients will be synthesized. And of course, as an example, when board members who come to Germany, was Babi, Gujarat, they should go back with some money from us. So we declared 71 percent each board meeting, four times a year, 300 percent um, dividend. No, no, no. So this is my stupid, the my idea. It came to me, why not? The company has enough profit retained for the two shareholders. Give it to them, their money, actually. So it is a history, actually. And of course, I became the executive chairman of the company, the management managing director after my former retirement at the age of 660. So this is a story. Now, they also mentioned, relationship manager is my, my, my strength, actually. So I know somebody, I can retain him as a friend for a long time. And the, the relationship management the success is only been, been. I can't be selfish, I should be. He also, my friend also should be. That spirit is there, you will long, long term relationship. An example in the global. So I am very proud to be an agriculture graduate. I am extremely sensitive to give them the fair opportunity, which they denied to me in my time. And the load of sarcasm from my former colleagues, etc., etc. You are not performing. Your future will not come out. You are nobody. We are big. All this outlived actually. So I have something to tell you. How maybe you you have a lot of veterans here, so they would have told you already. And because of take a recap. But for the young students, maybe something you can learn from this. Subsequent slide will tell you what plan, what you all could do in life regarding your own career. The PhD agriculture.
of the scientific in Australia, when I went years, years ago, a lot of people grouped together, they have advisory service actually. Also, you can buy some machinery, maybe with a friend of you, or with uh, someone put in French, buy a tractor, buy a drone, and you can have a, let it out for rent. And also digital, I told you, digital, data generation, soil health checking, etc. amazing, multi-use, and even communication, digital communication. To Pharma, Pharma contacted by us for the app actually, your new phone. It's easy. The you have five drones in the university, very happy, the right direction. 100 percent drones have been commissioned by the Prime Minister recently. India, made in India, in Gurgaon or somewhere. And the cost of Then I summary more than the drones and there is also in the insecticide board CIB registers certain formulations the right to make it vaporize, etc. etc. There are techniques to do it. At the same time, BGCA, the Director General of Civil Aviation, has a special process for drone flying, flying the drones. The three month course also, they use proper certificate. The government has deposited and set up an agriculture ministry department of drones. The drones is going to play a lot role because it's not now. Earlier, you must have said politically, farmer suicide in Maratwara, farmer suicide in Varda, farmer suicide in Barangal, all were there, no political advantage of it. Basically, because pesticides have contaminated the human skin, people have pehoshro again, market. Now, with drone, there's nothing. Clean spraying, in 15 minutes you can fill it one acre. The hand pumping for horse spray is about three, six hours, seven hours, you know. The exposure to the human exposure to the chemical is almost eliminated. So there are several advantages, so not only for agriculture spraying, for data mining, soil health, so many other usage can be done. The time is about eight, five to eight kilos of weight only you can carry. But you can also operate sitting in your in your room. You don't have to go to the field at all. These are techniques improving. In a rapid pace, before you could realize it, the next level of technology is coming. You, therefore, you must be alert all, all the time. These are another opportunity. Now, this is my, my pet subject is scientific farming. Why can't you also be a farmer? This is my question and challenge also. All of you have potential, knowing the theoretical side of agriculture, put it to practice the traditional farming to that, that is be on one side, that is scientific farming. The few graduates I've seen in Jaipur and uh, Ludhiana and all that, the floriculture, uh, the beet culture, etc. But you have a potential to turn your knowledge into production as a farmer, a modern farm. You can own a bandy car, a driver, etc. You don't have to be like a farmer, a Buddha car, time is enough. You can also farming yourself, you can, you can do cash crops, make, make a lot of money, floriculture, good money, export also, aqua. There's so many activities. I exhort most of you think that as a priority to be a farmer. I'm sure that you can take from your family farming and you can do wonderful because science and university is behind you all the time. <coughs> but think about it also. It is not a shame to be a farmer. It is a proud to be a farmer, good farmer. So first job, use very well the first job. Start the first with very good. Otherwise, you don't have a Good, good base actually. And in the startup time, the earning potential is to be forgotten. Do I make a five lakhs or three lakhs or ten lakhs? Not important. Learning potential. I will learn something here in this company. It gives an opportunity to widen my knowledge, my horizon, etc. etc. That should be the primary concentration, not the money. Later you can have earning for earning, but learning is important. Hard work, hard work, hard work. I can chant like a mantra that will leave me pain. Casual approach, I want to go to the cinema, I want to Shah Rukh Khan, uh, where you have to do work, he doesn't work out there. You have to focus. I, in a crude way, in my younger days, a lot of people talked to me. My company, the first wife, my wife is the second wife. I am the past, also, no, sir, that is not correct. You are wrong. 
but you are entitled for your opinion. I am entitled for my opinion. I focus my job. A glass of milk my daughter drinks. Well, money come from the company ever buy work for. I do the extra hours. So this sort of a thing comes from the hard work, the passion that you are driving a process. You are driving a that a machine for the company. You have to put your best, give your best to make best for that. Focus in passion day on career development. Is important. Next one. The five to ten years you do this work hard work of learning. Then you have the next ten years. You consolidate the position, there you earn the money. You earn, you earn the money initially only for what you call the, uh, the living number, uh, not the borrowing to somebody. But later, you save the money lost by the, the next 10 years. And after that, case you are very ambition, very, what you want to become. This is the way I would like to have first job. Under the foundation is well, the, the building will not be strong. So therefore, remember this. And one can also, like MD, Solangi sir, CEO, you were uh, in the Narendra Drane from this place, CTO, partially our uh, Bajit Bhavar, technical man, CIO, so innovation officer, marketing officer, commercial officer, plenty of things at the top level actually. One can, one can get in. And the ambition, without ambition, nothing works out, you know. But focus ambition, that's very, really, very, and also consistently focus. Wrong job. Some other signals, poor rating, and also a negative feedback to the boss. You know, they say poor rating, you have the wrong job. You also, your goals are not gelling with the company company goals, objective, etc., etc., because you have chosen the wrong company. And also, you feel work is done. When is the five o'clock time you can go home? This is not the case. You don't even look at the time at five o'clock. I have worked up to six o'clock work. You're not there, you have the wrong job. So, some is the last sentence again. And they say wrong job. This is very unfortunate if you're wrong job. Very really fortunate you select the first company very well. Success mantra, few mantras. Success. Build a strong CV. I have a feeling that many people don't know how to write a CV. CV is a primary document on which you base your career. My daughter. Deepika has placed about 400 MPAs in Willinger Institute of Management Bombay every year. He always tells the students, you don't know how to write a CV, let me guide you. Proper CV, the minimum thing should be there at the right place. So I would perhaps send you some, some few specimens of good CVs. You could work this up, let's pass it around if they want to. Anything, even if you want to go and CV is a elementary thing. The next one, you have what you call elevator pitch. You know, pitch. Now, the manager jargon of plenty. And our place, we don't call elevated pitch. Now, Your interest, your vision, etc., etc. I will also give you a modern voice model, I say, if they want it, they can listen to it. And that is elevated pitch. The next one is a very important thing called LinkedIn profile. Technology has changed. As an example, Bayer, HR Fellow, whatever, 10 agriculture graduates. He got LinkedIn profile, somebody record Ashok Kumar. Ashok Kumar finally to LinkedIn. I find Ashok Kumar put his, his blog in there, you know, his story in it. And it's continuously updated, you know. I attended a webinar on, um, on, on, on mechanization. I attended so and so day. It's very interesting. Some an argument does not go, this is good. You put it in your LinkedIn profile. Uh, you attended a, 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 a farmer's meeting. Put something there. So what do you want to do, where you want to go, those details you put experience, the article you read. Uh, in, the, in the newspaper, some, some, some something on agriculture, put it there. I read it with Pansar Windows. The man who sees in the HR department will see, oh, this boy has a direction, this way to go. The LinkedIn profile, don't forget it. He does to put very profit, professional, continuously updated. Every day, what's happening, or a week, what's happening is important. Now, see, and look for which company, wrong company, right company, talk to you. 
listed now company companies and and one do extensive background check we had to background check if possible i give the list of companies of course okay on veterinary veterinary also you can give if they see give it to them and let them send them to themselves everything available in the in the google tank fire company of a director 15 days ago what is today why should i ask tank fire to go to google uh, they say the tank fire turn over tank fire border everything is there uh, our picture is giving all the information so why go anywhere to use it extensively do the research on the company you want to join now and of course last but surely the career coach is important because everybody is struggling working hard etc a coaching is important i recommend i i prefer coach if you want i can give you a few i have one or two already but i'll give it to you but coaching in english these days we don't have to physically go the technology helps you to have a virtual meeting with the, with the coach the coach can also have 30 40 students coming at the same time yeah? attend the meeting together so a coach he will help you a lot now all the point which i carried carried it in a larger way bigger way clearly clear way he will be able to guide you those people are ambitious to come top level at the coaching session is there available i will i will help you out there in fact i will make one more statement if you want the okay sir as me i get sent also one or two career coaches from me from here i may cost sit here with students and coach you personally also as a gift from me the first time i'm coming and the view back of the student something from my side also i i voluntarily but voluntarily off <laughs> and the it very joined there are visions and visions and core values each company has different set of core values that you must understand you should believe in that one we don't believe that you are outdated you have an inquisitive mind an innovative mind also enthusiastic mind and also contributive mind and change is continuous now that i reached the milestone that i, I cannot improve now a job done yesterday which will come anyway the next is this thing you can do better this stay relevant stay relevant is important because things are happening changes are so fast actually in the, in the industry environment if you don't read the news economic times when you start the level of management you are irrelevant actually if you don't know about drones you only think about spraying you are irrelevant so stay relevant to today update it all continuous this is this is a very good for your future as i said always uh, take a voluntary thing okay not given to the company and if you fail nobody will blame you but then be bold to act risk and reward are goes proportionally high risk high reward so take a moderate risk aim for high reward right 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 the another mantra of this is better find your failure than to do not hide it and fit it but understand the mistakes don't repeat it if it tends young boys and girls are tends no feels please don't go out to feel take it through the depression to go what are it is don't do it you can to prevent the bad effects in life no student will should ever take a pill reflecting on yesterday and it apcd yesterday today you reflect it could i have done better way always answer is yes today you do today's job tomorrow you review what happened for five five minutes you will get lot of uh, in in uh, ideas how to do better Why look at CDS how they performing? Try to emulate some of them. Be very transparent communication. Don't complicate your communication. Be verbal or written. Simple language use it. Now don't add too many masala. You always say dance in one or two weddings, not dance in other weddings. But dance well in one or two weddings. You attend. You attend that. That is the story. And also no groupism, no politics. Stay. Think of it. Team brilliance and individual brilliance. I cannot contribute beyond the point. I need a team to contribute more together. So then there is no heroes, superheroes, superman, a super team. Team picks you up actually, and you share the glory with the team. So next one is the financial planning. This I for this slide I practiced it. To the age of three. Uh, I became a trainee, 
after my initial introduction, the LIC fellow came, 10,000 rupees policy, Mr. So would you take it? Yes. But before you go, it took me a sale. My five trainees together took me a sale. You know why? You know, you have no pension. You know? But you have to save money from the day one. Save money till you retire. You know what will happen? Money goes on money. So when you get a job, 10% of systematic investment plan. Put it. 10%. Compulsory. Even if you're hungry, it doesn't matter. Five years. Your salary goes up. Take the 15% to 10% to 15%. More money you put in. Either way of doing it, take a housing loan. At the age of 30, 35, you must take a plan. Loan is available and then increase the salary you pay for the loan. You can always manage the repaying the capability. Product fund you can do 12%. Company you do 12%. Voluntary contribution also is possible. So make it that awesome. I need 12.5, 12.5, 12 volunteer, 37% of a salary, plus SIP, all done it forever, so many years, from 23 to 70. That's why I'm fortunately multi millionaire from only the salary savings. Of course, if you have, we go all up after 15 years, increment would be 10,000, 20,000. One year, you think you will get increment. That money also saved. From that day, continuously. These are the areas you should pay attention because financial security gives you a tension free retirement. Though you are young, that youngness is not the rational. It is one has to be old, one has to plan, provide for it when you are young. You can do it. Understood? An important slide, please uh, remember this. Now I reach the last slide, I think. Summarizing private sector, wholehearted welcome. All of you welcome to the seed industry, the fertile industry, etc. etc. I mentioned it earlier. And then um, industry climate is dynamic and changing. And then from a simple answer from a, a hand pump spray now for the drones. And more will come in future. So that is also you should realize it. Many job opportunities you have. Grab, grab a good one. You don't have to grab the first one, grab a good one. And then one change you do after 10 years. You must have a learning process, consulting process, then you make a change. If you don't change once or twice in your career, you will not come up to the top. It's very important in private companies. Be an all around that. Don't be only one subject I know. From marketing, you can jump into sales. From there, you go technical development. You know, like that, you have all around the manager. And uh, one, one more change, the second change, uh, five years later. This would be perhaps uh, bring you uh, success in life. In life. Good career planning and help is available with them, with me, with all of us. All agriculture graduates in the country are backing you. If you only ask for it, you will get it. God bless you all. My special, special thanks, one more thing, special thanks to um, our uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor Savansa for inviting me here and raising this baby, as they call it. My Hindi is Kadanake. I have not taught Hindi. <laughs> I thank you very much and for the all the faculty people, deans and uh, directors. Thank you very much. And for the senior for the industry, also Kapu Chandra is able to give an opportunity to exchange my views. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> this is not. Thank you, Mr. Tunney. I request uh, all the dignitaries to please take place, respective place on the dash, please. And now we will open the session for the question answer session. Uh, Dr. Borke, sir, and Ms. Nehal, madam, will coordinate the session. I am always here. So, my young agriculture graduate friends, uh, if you have certain questions in mind, Dr. Mr. Unni is kind enough to answer the queries yeah. which will be raised by our students. Now we are at around 11.18. You know, around half an hour to 45 minutes, we can have the session, question answer session open. Please organize it. Always start with a topic job. <laughs>
Sir, it was grateful hearing uh, Mr. Sunni. Sorry, Sunni. Sir, my uh, question. Most of the time we go, we were, we are not uh, aware when the recruitment happens uh, in most of the countries. So, and even so, question is notified about the recruitment process of company. What's your name? My name is Kushal Rane, and basically, I'm doing uh, genetic uh, masters in genetics and plant breeding. Very good. So, that is the question is that uh, there are certain seasons on which the uh, recruitment process begins. Actually, sometime in September, October, it begins actually for MBA concern. But for agriculture graduate, what happened, you know, you pass out there sometime in April, May, I think, right? April, May, I think, pass out. Then what happened? Then look in the meantime, effort should not start from the day you pass. It should start about the one year back. At least a company we said here. The list of non the, the, the government the government the job potential in this the like bank or you, you must do the the um, last but one year before the one year before start searching for it. Normally it's coming in a particular season of two to three months when the when the budget of the company is now uh, March, April to March, you know. So in the month of January, February, they do a for the bank for planning, sales potential, sales planning, profit planning, etc. So there we put a number. We need to send uh, agriculture graduates, twenty agriculture graduates, sometime in November, December, January, before the budget. That's the right, right time they do it, and then they start looking very deep. Lot of things can happen via you are downloading the Google, the release to the company when they recruit. It's available there. All you need to spend some time in the computer. And you get an example, buyer. Just put it there. Career planning, and then you find also. Somebody buyer, if you know around you, around somewhere, some friend, you'll also tell you when the recruitment takes place. Then another way of doing it, you be friendly with a few bank people or industry people who are already there. They will also tell you when. Normally, it happens for initial recruitment, come via the reference. Uh, we have 10 vacancies, somebody will say the recent decentralized from the top level to the regional level recruitment, you know, because they can't go a chapter all over here. So therefore, that fellow, he had a three, two, two vacancies in, let's say, Andhra Pradesh area. Then they will look at other people. If anybody can recommend somebody, so I mean, the, one of the boys will say, that one seems to be all right, etc. So a reference also it can come. By your speaking deep into the... Manager, just catch him when are you recruiting? What is the procedure, etc.? It's possible. I'll also find it out for my startup it and we'll give it to him. Your question more as because I agree, you you should know when it is, but you also can pay, pay some money that takes some efforts. Learn it actually. These are methodology you, you can choose it somewhere. I can also give you typical recruitment of the, of the company, etc. Normally, what happened now, at least about 10 15 percent attrition there, people are leaving. So, they really need a vacancy. It can happen anytime, anytime. It's always better to be in touch with somebody working in the industry. Somebody, they will be able to also tell you which company, uh, my company, etc. It is not a difficult situation. Therefore, don't presume that the day you graduate only, you look for a job. One year beforehand. Uh, beforehand. And uh, you, will, you will send opportunity. One year, write it down. Don't put memory will, will mislead you. Write it down. This company, this time, this bank, this time. So like that, you will be, you will be, you will be able to find each other at a the time. There's no fixed time actually, but some indication we can give. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Good morning, respected sir. Uh, I am Parmani Dhanushree Vijay, and I am from Plant Pathology Department. Sir, as you told in your second slide uh, that you prefer to join private company. Yes. Uh, so my question is, how should I choose my first job well? Yeah, in fact, uh, you decided to join private company? Yes. So, okay, they're simple. If you decide, then you can say which one you want. You want to be in a crop protection industry, you want to go to seed industry, you want to go to fertilizer industry, etc. You decide. 
what do you want? Or you are you don't mind doing any of these industry, also fine. Then of course, uh, you can get the number of companies, label company that says, okay, have a get out. It, it can be easily on Google, but it will also get you in the list of fertilizer company available to you in the campus itself. So you can go there and to the website and one friend, number you find it out, or, or you phone me. You host all of your students are uh, the requested. You can also phone me. I have no problem. <laughs> Only one hour sleeping time, two to three, and then to do six o'clock in the night. I'm available. I'm too happy to help you. Uh, join the industry. Uh, so I joined at that time, but no help was available. Only my brother said, don't go, join a private company. He's better work about it, what about he said to me. But today you you world is changing, you know. So you help them come apparently. You decide if you want which 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 industry you want to go, you decide. Fertilizer industry is very peculiar characteristic. Agrochemical and other the situation. The tractor and uh, let's say the machinery, a different type of, of working. You decide what sort of industry you want to join. Help will come. Thank you. Sir, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So just uh, want to help them. Ah, you do. Uh, just, 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 just with the. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. No, I mean, uh, exchange okay, okay. this question. Uh, first of all, uh, on the mic. First of all, uh, very good question. Very practical. Uh, just extension to this question is when there is an opportunity, the opportunity may be in a multinational company or it could be an Indian company. So, when to choose from multinationals, you don't have a you don't have too much of choice. You have about six or eight companies. Indian, there are 340, 350 companies. So, which one to choose from? Maybe Nisa, you can guide. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one? No, the question is that uh, the company is a long lasting company with the proven records, etc. Also, called uh, there's some reputation of the company, you know, because uh, if you search around, the Google will not tell you, but friends around you ask, uh, he's a uh, a good company to join, and somebody from Singenda is still at lower level, which are ah, it's a good company, there are the pop up here to grow, etc. etc. But word of mouth also you can get. Or you can go to the Google and look at the financials actually. You know, company performance, etc., etc. Google it out. Uh, that 2022, 23, or five year period. Just to ask a question to Google, it gives it to you. Then you make your rating. Does it suit you or not? Go to the other company. So I said, what is it? <coughs> Multinational is, of course, preferred good old days. More systems are there, or well organized, etc. But Indian companies are also coming up. As an example, Crystal Crop Care, UPL is the company, Nell Foster, the biggest company, the Indian company in the world. So there is also called the uh, Danu Council. So all is available. <coughs> Each one has some merit and demerit that you will have to choose. They can only guide you. Therefore, in you know, crop protection, <coughs> um, I would prefer a well established uh, 10 to 15 years company, successful company, rather than Indian company with three to four years. There are many companies I know are not employee friendly, you know. They're selfish themselves between the profit and the runaway with it. But sustainability of agriculture, commitment to agriculture, and honestly participating, not a fraudulent activity, etc. Et uh, there are, one has to check it. No direct answer can be given, but there are companies you can join. Otherwise, you know, in, in, in AgriVo, when I was running, you had 175 agriculture companies, 175 to 200. It is multifold nowadays because business from about 5,000 crore, 8,000 crore, go to 50,000 crore. The size of the company or the industry. The grown again, that's a deep leap from growth actually. <laughs> so, locating a company is not the difficult. But, sorry. No, sorry. I just have one. Did I have one? So, go ahead. So, okay. Yes. Quite my. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Um, uh, myself, uh, Sudhir Prabhu Desai. I out from uh, KKV in uh, Entomology Department, Masters. Uh, and thereafter, I joined Missouri in Hext uh, just after one year. Initially, I was in some, some small company. And thereafter, I was with the same industry. Uh, I wanted to change the company. It is X to that time one of I think first or second company in the world. Uh, uh, thereafter, the company got uh, you know so many mergers, undergone mergers and acquisitions. And then uh, when I left the industry, I left from uh, buyer as a general manager. I got retired much early. Uh, in the year uh, 2020, uh, because uh, there were some opportunities abroad at that time, and I was not ready because of my family situation that time, so I did not uh, take off that opportunity, and there were no many available positions of my level that time in India, so I left, and uh, now I'm retired. So I am always available to you. My numbers I can share. Uh, anyone can contact for any kind of help for the industry. Thank you very much. Thank you, register for the alumni in our portal. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, as per request of Dr. Burke, I request Jagun Kadam and Rajan Sakhar also to introduce themselves. And for as I told you, your easy identification is this one. You know? <laughs> Hello, Namaskar, Rajan Sakarkar. It's really a pleasure to be here and listen to Mr. Kekumundi. Uh, we have been meeting on and off sometimes. I've been uh, uh, MSc Agriculture from uh, this department, this agriculture college here, MSc Agriculture and Entomology in 1992. And then as normal Kokani moves out from Kokan region to Mumbai, I also moved to Mumbai. <laughs> So I did first one or two companies and then uh, I started with American Cyanamide in technical development. Then I moved to Bayer and now I completed almost 25 years in Bayer. I placed in a different, different area, different uh, uh, organized, different division in the company. So I was in Mumbai, then Bangalore, then Germany, then again in India and then again in Germany. So various, uh, you know, travel and various uh, career movement. And finally, now this month is the last month with the buyer. So in the first, first week of March, I would be retiring. I would be settling in Dapoli. So anytime anybody would like to have any word, any discussion point, it would be my pleasure to have that discussion with you, anybody over here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, one of our senior and genius person, Jai Guru Kadam. Namaskar. I'm Jai Guru Kadam. Actually, I'm from Burud, from Dapoli itself. And I'm a local guy. And But I'm not senior. Many of us have come here after almost three years. Uh, I did my MSc in uh, 1987. I passed out from Dapoli. And just after passing, I had a very small stint at the uh, coconut research station in Bhatte as a junior entomologist. And after that, I moved away into commercial agriculture as a freelance consultant. So I worked practically in a lot of segments of consultancy since 1989. In 2000, I actually attempted to complete do a PhD again also. I came back as a student again in 2000 and it, it was an unsuccessful attempt. Uh, I could not complete my PhD, but uh, I had a lot of other commercial interests uh, at the time of doing PhD. I did a lot of, um, I started a computer institute in Dapoli for my friends. The kids of my friends who were there in this. So I was teaching uh, computer free of cost because I was also associated with a lot of uh, these projects, digital marketing or uh, projects with IIT Mumbai, it all started with from how a website should be. Then uh, it graduated to you know app-based uh, systems in in agricultural apps or whatever apps. Then we did a project in IIT on 
automated weather stations uh, for for our advisory. It was we were actually a little bit ahead of time at that point of time. It was 2006. In fact, uh, Dr. Sarwant may not uh, recollect. I had actually met him in NRC Grapes in 2006 uh, for the grape. We did. Uh, we had some uh, 48 weather stations in Nasik and uh, that area, and we were doing that. I've done a lot of that uh, digital marketing also. From that, I went into product development and with animal industry. So, uh, from animal, uh, basically for, for uh, trying to do get all the Indian replace the chemicals and. I have been successful in giving two, three products to the market, to the industry, and I'm currently doing product development as a freelance, and I'm also getting back into the pesticide industry, and of course, uh, with uh, guidance and help from all my friends, and of course, Uddi sir, he has been a guiding force behind all these ventures, and I'm going to definitely help, and uh, maybe we'll do something, a plant-derived thing into pesticides, rather than getting chemicals. So, Let's give back something back to the nature that we have done. So this is the concept that I'm following. And I'm being a consultant, a freelance. So if you need any of the help, I'll also join the alumni group. And if something is required, I can guide, I can help. That's a very short thing. Thank you for this opportunity. Last question. Then uh, I have a uh, Good morning, sir. Uh, very good morning. Uh, dear and all my dear friends sitting here. Uh, however, I had to ask many questions, but uh, time doesn't permit. So, uh, cutting out some important questions, I bring forward to you. So, my first question is that. Uh, trust is important thing while thinking about any business because uh, as you gave an example, farmer doesn't know the uh, chemical content of any insecticide or pesticide, but he knows the trade name and naam uh, bikta hai that people use the word naam bikta if some word is uh, uh, for example bavistin bavistin is popular any farmer uh, wants uh, fungicide is a bavistin so that is trust how you develop that trust. For your brands like this is or uh, Ramban, that as an example. Another question I just uh, consecutive to it uh, is that uh, regarding the innovation in the private sector, uh, the question, one of the slide content that uh, innovation is important thing, but private industry doesn't uh, give that much importance to the innovation. Instead, it wants uh, the labor in the sense that would work nine to five for the company. That is the definition uh, among the people currently. So, uh, what angle do you present for innovators or in the private sector? Uh, that would I would like to know. And one last very short thing about the MLM influence in the agrochemical industry and what would be its effect on the uh, on this entire industry in the upcoming days. Thank okay. you, sir. Last question, you may. Uh, effect of MLM in the agrochemical industry. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it is also increasing the day by day. So what, according to you, would be the future prospects in that sector? Also, I will ask the last question first. MND. I am also victim or this year victim or beneficiary MND. Only remain constant on the left side the column and the right side partners keep on changing. So next we gave this side sharing came and we gave agreement. The sharing and then this disappeared. I came uh, the road plan. I became a road plan man. Only the many company didn't keep on changing. So partnership. <clears throat> then that go gone. The company was acquired by buyer. I became buyer. But the question is that when you acquire merger acquisition comes, integration becomes a big problem. The buyer, <coughs> I buy, I buy your buy your company. My rules should be prevailing in your company with you. You don't you have to forget the company which you work. So many years. Now, the right. owner is there. So, his values and core system you have to adapt. So, a certain amount of adaptation is required. Sometimes, an example, buyer company in India, for example, it took two years to integrate the next group. Originally, Hex became Aventis, Aventis became now buyer. To integrate with the buyer, buyer culture, buyer value system, etc. Then, they in India found out 
the Hex culture, Agrivo culture, much better than Bayer culture. And then they adopted so the good luck of the, 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 the Hex people, the Hex culture, than the Bayer culture. Don't let it do that. Put it very well, simply into the thing. So, therefore, accepted of the change is inevitable in the budget acquisition. You are nobody to stop a buyer the, the, the M and A situation. M and A is normally global. How Dupont and the Dow join? The Dupont has to shell out as part of a lessening the economic the, 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 the majority of the company. Certain amount of good product to FMC. Beacon. FMC become like like, like they got a bonus actually for small money. A large number of products. Now the something <coughs> now group on Bunja, Motiva in Hyderabad, it will rebuild the insecticide portfolio, rebuild the fungicide portfolio. So they are working hard now. So that is inevitable. So there's a lot of pioneering work to be done here. So products have gone to other companies. Other company being a small fish, got a big fish to chew, to take over the bigger range of products, but it's difficult for them. So they have to do some certain amount of changing, transformation, etc. etc. The constant problem. Further acquisition is an inevitable. Be pharmaceutical, chemicals, or agrochemical is very common. That's first question. The second one is the branding. So first one is the branding. Branding, same chemical, is branded high. One thing is very clear. We do not successfully demonstrate to the pharma time after time, continual demonstration, and success is properly <laughs> Uh, announced and uh, demonstrated, and a group get a group of farmers, take a farmer, farmer visit to the plot, see the results of product A, and get satisfied. Okay, so it's, a, it's a good product, and you have a large number of farmer days, a thousand farmers, five hundred farmers collect from neighboring villages, and have a discussion with them, give them film shows, take them to the other fields to see. So it take a lot of extension effort to demonstrate. The, the good qualities of a product. It cannot be done. I have a new product tomorrow. It is the brand is hundred. This is we got hundred percent premium. Probably we worked actually. We worked established a brand is tough job, not easy. But once you establish the sheer teamwork, you know the whole team has to be emotionally and physically involved in it. Then it stays a longer time. A Davish team, I've overtaken by my Derosol. We bought the technical product BSA. Derosol, our product is more fluffy, you know, one kilo, it has so much of mass of volume, the average is much less. So many times I told our people, don't oversell, they may cut you off actually. So therefore, yes, a lot of uh, uh, brand building is needed because a lot of uh, uh, generic products are coming. It's got available for 100 different brands actually. So the popular brand is depends on the company, company hard to work. To project it in the eyes of the pharma, I trust it. I trust it. So that is one. The second point: innovation. Innovation. Innovation is uh, very there is possible. As an example, osteopathy, which you got an Indian hammer, also blessing like the Shankar Star, we call it. And if you will be positioned against the wrong pest, actually, you know, you know, but in Punjab and Haryana, it is a dead spot at one time. <laughs> they both. Our technical department, our people who are entomologists, etc., et cetera, remarketing, repositioning. You know, that was part, part of it. Same product, same pest, same pest, same crop. How you reposition it, actually? <coughs> That's innovation. If you talk about the production people in a company, profit is not a function of the sales price minus the cost of production. No, it is not. The continuous improvement possible in sales, the continuous improvement possible in also in production, and also from any other, including finance, etc. etc. Et How a production chemist can increase the productivity of him? Innovation. As an example, I follow uh, the root of synthesis described the SOP. You know, I think I can do a little differently for a one kg active ingredient, the raw material, particular for raw material, 500 grams. How can I less by bring it down to 450 grams for one kg? How can I bring it to 430? How can I come closer to theoretical value? Theoretical value is very difficult to achieve. So, this is innovation. As an example, 
in my company called Pillar, which has been the savings of Pillar, <coughs> where cost optimization in the plant, in the plant itself, the gross value was equal to the cost escalation in entire Asia Pacific region. About $2 billion we saved in Pillar, $2 billion other countries wanted to have more. So we could even help. It's only because one proof is there. Brain should be always functional. You can do it in a different way. Chemical synthesis is an example. It can also be innovative ideas. Total innovation. Chemistry is where you can plunge it and experiment here and there. Sometimes you fail, sometimes you succeed. And another example. If I had a transfer that the technical is made in the plant, how will you make it in the transfer? Don't go to the production chief and, uh, and ask him as the managing director. You ask the, 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 the man working in the plant. You break down annual capacity to monthly capacity to daily capacity. You just ask a simple question. You're paying two times per day. Can you make it 2.5 times? Can you do it? Make it simple proposal to him. Like plant manager will say, give it three, four days, I'll come back. He started working, with his mind works, 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 and he come and tell you, it's possible, I can do it. Then it becomes like 750. Per day, you have a 500, 2.5, 500 kilo. Into 24 working day, you can calculate how much. When an order comes from the I want 1,000 tons, same product. Now you go to the boss. How will you? He saw it very simple. The main vessel of this plant, I replaced with a larger vessel. But this vessel is not discarded. This vessel uses new upcoming new plants somewhere else in the in the in the in, the, in, the, in, the, in the world factory. So the incremental cost 10 lakhs of rupees. Can you imagine mm -hmm. the fruit? For 10 lakhs of rupees, <coughs> you have a thousand tons plant, new plant. Only the main vessel is to be changed. The supporting vessels are same. You understood? So this is a wonderful innovation idea. And also innovation of a working also. Working pattern, a lot of areas for innovation. In most of the company have innovation box. Even for an employee, a driver or a, a clerk can also put something in the mark in the innovation box. Innovation box is always and that's called CIO position now. Now earlier it was not the chief innovation officer. Worldwide, industrially speaking, <laughs> innovation is supposed to be done for growth. Fundamental, you change the work differently. You save money. You save money. For example, innovation of management, innovation. Tell the finance fellow, the 50% of the 90% of the working capital last year, you manage this year. I don't know. I just gave a task. Many times they do it. They're challenged because the MD said only 90% they'll give, not 100%. Growth is there and at 20%. I get more money, but I, he's giving me less money. You push to a corner, you innovate. You must face problems. You must be challenged. Then you will do it. This is a very, very idea. We can talk later if you want. I have seen it actually in the version 11. Now. Example, desics you're talking about. 32 reactions are needed to get the final product. Each chemical reaction needs 98% yield, 99% yield. If you have 1% less, so the, the, the cumulative effect is product is uh, more uh, raw to consume. One fellow in Barbie, one doctor, uh, doctor uh, named Minoja, got a slightly different process. He brought down the cost of production over $150 to $50. Small company. Brain is fascinating. He's an innovator. So he had to find out innovative people among the crowd, be it the marketing, be it the production, be it the purchase, whatever it is. There are possibilities. What you need is think, think, think how I can do better. That's the innovation. Brand day finished. <laughs> FMC, FMC also it said. Okay. Now, any other question? Yeah, because one last question is it? Yeah. Huh? Uh, that's okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, friends. Uh, because of the time constraints and honorable uh, questions, we also have some commitments. So. Uh, what we do, we will proceed with the agenda and uh, we will be here, you know, Mr. Unni, myself, Dr. Nilka, sir, we
Uh, without taking much of time, only two minutes only because we, innovation, sir, we have our innovation center with us. We call it as a co-innovation center. <laughs> it's a coconut innovation. So it is already trademarked. So a lot of students have given their lot of big ideas. More than 180 ideas has been re uh, registered with us for the various uh, topics only. But looking to the multilateral marketing, we have trained our students in again uh, part-time with more than 200 hours uh, continuous course. They have done it uh, every week, weekend. For three hours uh, that day in Saturday and Sunday, that is course called is a digital marketing. So some of them have successfully completed. We want to get uh, felicitate them with some certificates with your auspicious hands. I request our honorable vice chancellor everybody to give these hands. Please uh, announce the moves. We are going to begin the certificate distribution ceremony with poster presentation competition result. Uh, we conducted this competition on the occasion of National Energy Conservation Day on uh, 14 December on the topic of use of renewable energy for energy conservation in agriculture. Uh, for this competition, I like to invite first three winners of poster competitions. Uh, third place goes to uh, Ritesh Babar. Please come up. I request to our chief guest and vice chancellor, sir, to felicitate you. Uh, second place goes to Karan Gule. Second place goes to Karan Gule. First place goes to Aksai Gadali. Aksai Gadali. On September 2022, to December 2022, at uh, NIF, uh, National Incubation Foundation, uh, our three students participated in their uh, internship. Uh, uh, they skill development on fabrication, research and development, prototype and innovation development, startup and innovation evaluate, government port portal handling, marketing uh, of grassroots innovations, NIF incubation portal handling. For the successful involvement in internship, I like to call up. Uh, call up them, uh, Mr. Pratik Ramesh Nakhure, <laughs> Omga Deepak More, and third is the Atharva Manoj Bhatre. Skill development training, uh, digital marketing training, digital marketing training, Mr. Akshay Gadade, Mr. Atul Patange, Patangade, Mr. Gaurang Zathar, Mr. Gaurang Zathar, Mr. Gaurish Savan. Mr. Kunal Savan, Mr. Ritesh Babar, Mr. Sahid Haq, so, Baba, Sahi Khan, Mahadi, Miss Sahi Mr. Tejas Sarvi, Mr. Tejas Sarvi, Miss Nathan Dinde. Thank you all of you. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Dr. Gurke, sir. Now I request our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Savan, sir, to give his presidential address. Dr. Ajli Savan. 
नमस्कार सर्वान डॉक्टर के के उन्नी साहब टूडेज स्पीकर मोटिवेटेड यू ऑल द वे फॉर योर कैरियर डेवलपमेंट डायरेक्टर रिसर्च डायरेक्टर एक्सटेंशन एजुकेशन इज देर डॉक्टर सावंत देन डायरेक्टर एजुकेशन इज देर डॉक्टर बी जी देसाई uh energy program for which uh, you people uh, i mean must be very thankful he has given lot of programs to you in this and past dr borke the principal investigator is here and a good friend of mine dr anil pawar uh, ji uh, from um, we can say representative from the uh, university as well as industry um, Lot of good friends of mine sitting in the audience, and uh, my all friends, student friends. So uh, I just don't want to give uh, another motivational talk. I'm not a real motivator as Dr. Answer the only thing. Just it na, I mean, the simple thing I wanted to say that. when i passed out from msc i wanted to be a industry man i never wanted to be in a government job i remember i mean when i got my uh, msc dr indul gar is sitting there i went asking job to him and he did give to me one but <laughs> and then i was waiting for i mean uh, by the time i got my msc